we are in for something special in just a few moments. And specially might mean a shot at oh, Sonia Richards Ross's 48.7 <laughs> record, which has been meters. there. What a field we've got for the Xfinity Women's 400. Quinera Hayes, Mackenzie Dunmore, Lena Irby Jackson in three. Then Britton Wilson, Sydney McLaughlin, Laroni, Rosie Effiong. Then Talitha Diggs is in seven, and Jamesha Arnold in eight. I think Britton Wilson has to resist the temptation to go out with Sydney if she goes out very aggressively. Run your own race. Final it's of the women's the sport, 400 meters. And Sydney's in lane five, and what will she do? We've seen her go out in two seconds and have to kind of figure it out in the last part of the race. Yesterday, she went out in seven. I think 23.5 is a perfect pace. Otto, she is pushing the pace. She's already close to everyone else. This is looking like record-setting pace. This is looking faster than 23.5. Wilson doing the right thing. Just run your own race. But Sydney McLaughlin has gone out in 23.2. So I think the record is in play, if especially if Britton Wilson to her. But so far, all Sydney. Remember last year when she won the world championship at this venue? She's Johnson. Anything is possible, whatever she puts her mind to. The meet record is 49.27. The American 48.70. Sydney McLaughlin Larone is a national champion at a new event at a 7.5. And she just misses the American record. That's only the third American performer who has ever run under 49. Phenomenal run, 23-2 through 200 meters, and she had the strength and the poise to finish in 25 seconds. That's how she got so close to the record. And Otto, she did it by Six herself. Four better. Yes. That is but what was truly phenomenal. If Britton Wilson was able to get up with her, she could have potentially got to that 48. Uh, anything is possible. It's a world lead record for Sydney McLaughlin-Lavroni over the 22-year-old Britton Wilson and Talitha 